हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू लेक्चर वन ऑफ बीसीएससी ट्रिपल जीरो नाइन व्हिच इज सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग दिस कोर्स इज ऑफ थ्री क्रेडिट्स आई एम पवन कुमार वर्मा आई विल टीच टुडेज टॉपिक दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट वील डिस्कस द टर्म सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग एज टू डिफरेंट टर्म्स Engineering is basically a process of designing and building something that serves a particular purpose. Basically, when we follow some particular procedure for development of something, then it is called engineering. So that the output will be desired output, which we expect. at the beginning of the process so when we follow this type of scenario then it is called as engineering now next term is software software is a basically a program or set of programs that contains instructions which provides desired output program in software also contains data structure that helps in manipulating information in this definition the term manipulation information is very important because any software takes some input and manipulates the information and then gives the output so we can say that software engineering can be defined as the systematic approach in which we aim and develop a quality software and this systematic approach not only deals with developing only but also maintenance of the software the term software engineering was coined in 1968 software is defined as the established and use of sound engineering principles in order to obtain economically developed software that is reliable and works efficiently on the real machines another researcher gives the definition as a discipline whose aim is the production of quality software software that is delivered on time within budget and satisfies its requirement now we will discuss the importance of software engineering engineering in software development is important because if we do not follow the systematic approach in development of software the whole process will generate a big problem software engineering ensures the high quality of software when we develop any software our aim is to develop a high quality software when we say about high quality it means functional quality and non functional quality both we'll discuss the term high quality in subsequent lectures of this course high quality software means the software that fulfills all the desired requirements which we expect software engineering helps to deliver high quality software software engineering also helps in development of software in timely manner when we have a huge or complex project then we need to set a deadline or milestone of time taken by each step and what time will deliver that software to the customer so software engineering helps to develop or deliver a software in a timely manner now 
we'll discuss about the difference between software and hardware the biggest difference between software and hardware in terms of software engineering is software does not wear out but hardware wears out when we see the life cycle of hardware in terms of failure rate and time then the graph looks like a bathtub this curve is also called bathtub curve in this curve at the beginning of the life cycle of the hardware some defects may be detected because of manufacturing or design defects this is called infant mortality we will remove these defects then the failure rate is reduced within time at some points these defects are fixed for some time these portion is called useful life but after some time failure rate is increased this phase is called wear out phase wear out phase occurs due to environmental factors when we see failure rate versus time graph of software initially failure rate is high due to defects and we we'll corrected these defects then the failure rate is reduced and fixed but this is idealized curve and it never happens in real life scenario the actual curve is drawn above idealized curve in actual software curve initially the failure rate is high because of undetected defects and when we corrected these defects then steady leave is started as we know changes are very common in software when we added these changes these failure rate will increase due to updation in the code and addition of new defects when these failures is increased we we'll corrected all the defects and failure rate comes down this process continuously goes on and no wear out situation occur in the graph another difference between software and hardware is software is local logical unit and hardware is physical unit now we'll discuss different types of software first the system software system software are those software that provides some platform to the other softwares for execution example of system software is operating system operating system provides platform to run other programs compiler is one more example of system software second category of software is application software they are developed for particular purpose if this type of software fulfills the requirement of a particular business then it is called business software next is scientific software scientific softwares are used to solve a complex problem next is embedded software it provides limited features and functionality for example microwave oven next one is artificial intelligence software artificial intelligence softwares are used to build the capability of human mind 
in this type of software complex algorithms are used by these by the complex algorithms but does not contain numerical calculation next one is legacy software legacy software are completely different from other softwares these softwares have been changed from time to time so that we can get the desired functionality they do not have good quality last one is web or mobile software web software are executed by web browser and mobile softwares are executed by mobile devices this is all about today's lecture if you have any doubts then mail me at pavankumar.verma at gla.ac.in thank you